Hi, I'm Persephone. I'm the director at Onca. This summer we ran an amazing programme of events and activities in the gallery here in Brighton called Visionary Fictions. Visionary Fictions was inspired by two amazing writers and thinkers, uh, Walida Imarisha, who actually coined the term Visionary Fictions to describe sci-fi that envisions just and habitable worlds, and um, Donna Haraway, who uh, coined the term Staying with the Trouble to describe the task that communities could take on into the future uh, of living in and um, restoring uh, damaged places. Uh, the amazing Jacob V. Joyce launched the programme with a workshop on uh, writing speculative fiction and uh, they challenged us to, to imagine futures which are um, off limits structurally or ideas wise to us, to challenge them, to challenge those limits and imagine things differently. After that, uh, we, uh, Jacob came back actually to be part of this amazing symposium that we held with Jacob illustrating and um, Carla Sweet, who's a writer based in London, and uh, Walida in Mauritius, and um, also two local eco-poets came and um, ran workshops and then we had a scratch night where performing artists generously shared their uh, visionary fictions. That symposium day took place in this uh, extraordinary context of um, an installation by Hoax Theatre. They came with a number of bags full of recycled and repurposed tents and sleeping bags from festivals that they'd made into this cave with which they um, took over the gallery and turned it into a kind of an immersive installation. From that they also performed their show which was called Stuck, which is, deals with despair around climate change. It's a clown show. It's, it's, it's funny and it's disturbing. Having said that, it's entirely original and brilliant. After Hoax and our symposium, we had uh, the marvellous Beverly Nadus from uh, Washington State came with her installation which was called We Almost Didn't Make It, which deals directly with despair and overwhelm around environmental change and social injustice. She turned the gallery into a space which, in which you actually were kind of enveloped by what she describes as trauma curtains <laughs> and you have to kind of fight your way through this suffocating installation in which you're faced with all these terrible statistics and kind of overwhelming fears and you kind of make your way through to something that Beverly calls the portal of possibilities where you're invited to um, imagine yourself as an ancestor so imagine that the world is here in 150 years and you have descendants and you're leaving a message uh, some advice or a promise to them and then Beverly was joined by Joan Harron for a, a fabulous talk about um, the artist's role at, uh, and how to keep uh, socially engaged creative practice resilient. The day after Beverly, we had Irene Fubara Manuel's digital installation, uh, Dreams of Disguise, and this is a game uh, in which you're invited to uh, imagine that you are a migrant crossing at, a, at an international boundary, at a border, at the UK border actually. The, the piece is about um, racialized biometric facial recognition software and how um, black migrants are um, systematically um, surveilled. As well as being disturbing, it was also fun and very accessible. And there was also a talk um, from Imani Robinson and a performance by Akila Richards. We also hosted a panel discussion that was chaired um, by Harriet Kavanagh and Naomi McAdam. Uh, it was called Beyond Ableism and it was a panel of people living with disabilities exploring um, their visions for a future, a future world in which ableism might be a thing of the past. What we hope that visionary fictions might have achieved would be to um, make spaces for people to um, ima try imagining different kinds of futures. Um, we wanted to kind of make spaces for people to be playful and uh, to get away from um, the pervading sense of uh, despair or panic that uh, are, are quite kind of prevalent in the context of um, narratives around climate change. Science fiction and speculative fiction are amazingly uh, permission-giving art forms in terms of um, loosening up 
by the imagination of the participant or, or the artist. Here are worlds where anything is possible um, and you can try things that might seem entirely ludicrous or impossible in um, the world that you're in now but if you take it to a different planet or a different time where the boundaries are completely different then you can find um, all sorts of potentially new solutions um, to things that might seem like intractable problems.